from Jamie about stoichiometry and about how we can take a little bit of information and then expand it out quite a bit to learn something about a problem. So what we're trying to do is figure out how many grams of silver iodide are produced when 14.3 grams of calcium iodide is reacted in this equation. So I've written the equation down here. And I've also got this table of molar masses over here, which is going to be important because the only go-between from masses of different chemicals to other chemicals is moles. That's the only way we can get things lined up. So moles is like our conversion point between a mass of one compound and a mass of another compound because that's what this equation is written in. It's written in moles. So if we read out the equation, we've got one mole of calcium iodide plus two moles of silver nitrate becomes two moles of silver iodide and one mole of calcium nitrate. Or we could even look at it as one molecule of this, two molecules of this, two molecules of this, makes one molecule of this. We can do it that way too. We're gonna use moles because that's more standard and then just do some quick math. So over here, I've got a table of molar masses. You could calculate these by adding them up. So you could go to your periodic table and find the mass of calcium and add it to two times the mass of iodide. I just looked them up online because that's easier, but on a real test or something, I imagine you have to calculate them. But to solve this, we need to figure out what we started with. So we start with 14.3 grams of calcium iodide. Okay, uh, we're just gonna set this up, 14.3 grams of CaI2 is going to become eventually some amount of silver iodide. So first we need to figure out how many moles of calcium iodide we've started with, because that's our key way to get this equation rolling. So let's start by converting this into moles once we get going. So 14.3 uh, grams of calcium iodide times its molar mass. So one mole per 294 grams. This is gonna give us how many moles. So we can see that grams is gonna cancel. We end up with a unit of moles, which is what we're looking for. So to do that math real quick, we have 14.3 divided by 294. We get a pretty small number. I get 0 0.0486. I'm just gonna to go to 0, 0.0, well, let's do the whole thing, 0 0.0486. Better to keep a little more around than you need, uh, six fig wise, before knocking them out at the end. So we got 0 0.0486 moles of this. I know that one mole of calcium iodide makes two moles of silver iodide in this reaction, which means that 0 0.4486 moles is going to make twice that much. So just to dial it out a little bit, 0 0.0486 moles of, whoops, that's the wrong button there, 0 0.0486 moles of CaI2 is going, if we want to convert this, we need to convert this into this conversion. So two what makes two moles of AGI, silver iodide, and then per one mole of calcium iodide. We do that multiplication real quick and we end up with points. I don't know, I should be able to do this one in my head, but not today. 0 0.0486 times two gives us 0 0.0972. So now we know that we've produced 0 0.0972 moles of silver iodide. And we're almost done here. So our last step is to convert that 0 0.0972 moles. Did I say 72 or 27? Should be 72. I'll write that properly this time. 0 0.0972 moles of silver iodide into grams. We do that by using the molar mass again. So we multiply by the molar mass, which we have written right over here. So it gives us times 235, 235 grams per mole. We can cancel out those moles do the quick multiplication to come up with grams. That gives me 22.84 grams. And then we just need to check our significant figures. So we started with three significant figures right up here, 14.3. So we need to round this off to 22.8 grams of silver iodide. And that's it. That's how you do the solution. All other stoichiometry problems are really similar. They just use different values, but that's how we set it up and do the solution. Hope you enjoyed it.